What's up guys, welcome back to Grease's Garage. Today, we are tackling one of the most fundamental maintenance tasks that you can do on a motorcycle. And if you're new to working on bikes, this might be the very first task you ever do on your bike. And I highly recommend you learn how to do it yourself. Today, we're gonna be changing the engine oil on this guy right here, my 1994 Evo Softail. The Evo motor ran from 1984 all the way through 1999. So if you have a bike in that year range, all the steps we go through here today are going to apply. I'll show you how to do it in three easy steps, some of the tools you'll need to make your life easier, and a couple of hacks to avoid buying tools that you might not really need. Stick with me, I'm gonna help you skip the struggle. Don't skip this step. Go ride your bike for 10 or 15 minutes. I know what a difficult job it is. You have to go ride your motorcycle. Go have fun, come back when the oil's nice and hot, then we're ready to dig in. All right guys, so we just took the bike out for a quick 15 or 20 minute rip. We're basically just looking to get the oil heated up. And a quick reminder, you do not want to just idle it in your driveway and then touch the fin and say, oh, the fin's hot. The oil must be hot. The engine will get hot quickly if you idle it in your driveway, but we're trying to circulate that oil and make sure the oil gets hot too. So take it for a 20 minute spin, bring it back. Now we're gonna go ahead and put it up on the jack and then we'll start doing the oil change. All right guys, so on the Evo Softail, this is the oil tank. It is a horseshoe style oil tank, and this right here is the fill cap. So first thing we wanna do before we even drain the oil is take the fill cap out and rest it in there on the threads. This is gonna let air go down through here so that once you pull the plug, which I'll show you in a second, the air can actually push the oil out it will still drain if you don't pull this cap like this, but if you pull the cap, it'll drain a lot faster. So we're just trying to make our lives easier. So here we are right behind the transmission. This right here is the transmission. I will say, even though this is an Evo Softail, I have a different transmission in this bike. Yours is not gonna look like this. It won't have this kicker pedal on it. Don't worry about that. None of that matters for the oil change. So right here, is our drain hose. Now I love the Evo Softail for this. Instead of having a bolt on a case, you've got this hose right here that has just this one little hose clamp on it. So we're just gonna use our flathead screwdriver to loosen this hose clamp. All right guys, now that we've got the hose clamp taken off, you can see this right here is actually our drain plug. So all we have to do is pull this right out of this line and then all the oil will drain out into our drain pans. And there we go. Now we've got the oil draining. So I just wanna show you guys what the actual drain plug looks like. This is the part right here that goes inside the hose. You can see it's just like a little stopper. And then this part on the outside is just like a little, uh, almost like a screw head and this is just for you to be able to pull on it and yank it out of the, the hose line. That's all it is. So simple. I honestly think Harley knocked it out of the park with these Evo Softails with this design. No bolts to strip, no anything where you have to reach under the bike. You just pull the actual hose right out from the, the inside of the bike there, yank this out, and then you can just put the hose into whatever container you wanna put it into. Awesome design. So now that all the oil is done draining out of this line, we're gonna go ahead and put the plug back in. And you're just gonna pop that right back into your hose. And then you're gonna take your hose clamp, slide that right over, there we go. Right back into the old groove and go ahead and snug that hose clamp back down. And that's it, that is your drain plug reassembled. 
Now you can just go ahead. I like to tuck this thing right back uh, in front of this cross member down here. So it actually pokes just like that, just above this cross member and forward of the transmission. And that's where it stays until your next oil change. Now it's time to do our oil filter. The oil filter is right here. This is the front cylinder of the motorcycle. This right here is your oil filter. Now, if you're able to spin this off by hand, you should have no problems reaching in here and just giving it a twist. But sometimes this thing can get a little stuck and if you have an oil filter wrench, you can go ahead and use that to clamp onto here and twist it off. But this regulator rectifier that's right in the front can sometimes get in the way of that. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and pop this regulator rectifier off so that we can get better access to the filter. Now the bolts for this regulator rectifier are a 7 16 So, some of you might be wondering, what do you do if you don't have an oil filter wrench and you're not able to spin this off by hand? What you can do is you can take a regular screwdriver, which is longer than the oil filter, and I'll say right now, this is the part of the video where all the, the purists are gonna say this is the hack way to do it and you should never do this, but you're in your garage, you're trying to get this done, you got a ride later, you're trying to make sure that this can happen. So, this is a hack that you can use to get this filter off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use a hammer to tap this screwdriver through this oil filter, and when it pops out the other side, you'll be able to crank down on it and it will spin loose the oil filter. So let's go ahead and we'll take our drain pan, slide that underneath, because as soon as we puncture it, it's gonna start leaking and we will go ahead and pop this through. There we go, and we're through the other. So now that we've got this through the oil filter, we can just crank down like this, and there we go. We are loosening the oil filter so that the seal is not so tight. So just with that one little quarter of a turn, that'll be enough for us to now do the rest by hand. Now this is a good reminder too, I clearly put this on way too tight when I installed this. So now we've got it loose by hand and we can just go ahead and spin this off. So I actually don't have an oil filter wrench and I probably should because I've been doing motorcycle work long enough that it would justify owning it, but I've always been able to get the filters off this way. So I've never really needed it. And you can too. So if the oil filter wrench is what's holding you up, if you're in a bind and you really need to get that oil filter off, go ahead and use the screwdriver method and you can get that oil filter off without the filter wrench. So with our old oil filter off, we can now go ahead and I always put on my new oil filter right at this point because if you were to go ahead and fill your oil first, all your new oil would just pour right out of here. So this is our new oil filter. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of oil and we're just gonna lubricate this seal before we spin it on there. So I'll just dip my finger. I know this is the old oil. You're supposed to use the new oil. It's literally just a drop. So go ahead and just take a drop, put it on this thing, and then go ahead and spin on your new oil filter. Now, if you saw how tricky it was for me to get that other one off, you will know you don't need to crank this thing down super tight. So I'm just putting it on about finger tight, and that's it. You are done with the oil filter. If, however, you did remove your regulator rectifier to get to that oil filter, make sure you put that regulator rectifier back on. Make sure you reattach. This is the plug for your stator. This stator plug goes right over here. Let me see if I can get my hands out of the way for you. The stator plug goes right onto there. And we'll just go ahead and put our 7 16 nylock bolts back onto these little posts here. So to recap where we're at so far, we've taken the bike for a ride to warm it up. We've drained out the old oil. We've switched the old oil filter for our new oil filter. And the last step in the process is now to fill the horseshoe oil tank with the new oil. So we've got three quarts of this Harley Davidson 
2050 conventional oil. And we are gonna go ahead and remove our dipstick from the oil tank. Go ahead and give it a wipe. And I'll show you this up close in a minute, but uh, nothing fancy to it, just a regular dipstick. There is a level checker on this dipstick, but I'll be honest with you, put three quarts in. I know it seems like uh, oversimplifying, but we are looking to keep this simple here. Every time I do an oil change, I put three quarts in. I don't check it with the dipstick. So go ahead, pop your funnel into the oil tank, and we're just gonna go ahead and start filling. Now, if you're an expert and you're very careful, you can just pour it directly from the bottle down into your oil tank. But you gotta ask yourself, are you careful? Are you an expert? Or are you gonna dump oil all over the side of your motorcycle? I've been doing this for a lot of years, okay? I didn't do my first oil change like this, but now, blazing through it. So much faster to do it this way. If it's your first time, use the funnel. Now, lest you think I'm just some complete hack that doesn't own a service manual, let me go ahead and show you what you're gonna be looking for on that dipstick. If you do wanna check it, add oil line is way down here and your full line is all the way up against that rubber stopper. And here we are guys, we've got three quarts of oil in the bike. You can see the fluid level is basically right up to the base of this filler cap. It's right down here and that is good to go. So now we're, all that's left to do is to take this bike out for another spin and enjoy another season of trouble-free riding. Go ahead and take your filler plug, pop that back in your oil tank, and you are done. Now before you rip your bike out for the season, make sure you check out this video right here. In just seven minutes and with only $7, I will show you how to check your whole electrical system to make sure your bike is ready to go for riding season. I'm going to keep you guys off the side of the road. Thanks for watching Grease's Garage, and I'll catch you next week.